share my excitement about a sweater. Well, it's good that I like a crunch. I married a white man. Good morning, everybody. What's up? Welcome to another vlog. Me and Trevor are going on a little adventure today. So I will bring you guys with me. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Ivy, and if you're not, what's up you guys you already know what's up with these vlogs um i will catch you guys in a little bit because we have to drop off some tools to one of trevor's co-workers and then we're gonna go get lunch at canes and we are going to try to hunt down this tree that which sounds really weird we're trying to hunt down this like slanted palm tree that i really have been wanting to take a photo on for like a year and i haven't been able to like go over there or I have been able to we just haven't um, so since the beaches are all open and we're allowed to social distance as long or we're allowed to be out as long as we're social distancing and everything uh, that's what we're doing today so I just wanted to say welcome I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you guys in just a little while guys so I hope you can hear me but we're having a little change of plans we're gonna grab lunch but we're not gonna go to the other side of the island because it's raining over there Okay guys, so we got our food. I'm gonna eat. We're headed to the NEX, the Navy Exchange, but got our food and we're on our way. Hey guys, we have now made it to the NEX. Trevor's gonna eat his food. I already ate mine. All I get when I go is a three-piece combo. Um, and like I said, Trevor's gonna eat. If, for you guys who don't have canes or you've never seen a canes, um, this is what it is. It's literally just like chicken fingers. Trevor always gets an extra toast. Um, but it normally comes with coleslaw, but we don't like coleslaw, so we, no, he always I gets... Do. But you just don't like it from there, or you just always like the extras? I like the extras. Yeah. So, Trevor always gets extra fries, and then obviously the cane sauce, so for all the people who have never had canes before. I got Trevor's drink. But, okay, so now that our three-year anniversary is tomorrow, what are three things that you've learned in the three years we've been married, like about marriage. Also, we're kind of having a mukbang because Trevor's eating. Don't ever be petty and lie about dumb shit. Okay, that's one. Never worth it. It's just having a self-maturity. Mm. Talking to each other pretty much about everything. Uh, being even if it's embarrassing. Even if it's embarrassing, like being about what's going on with you or something personal is going on or how you feel about something, just don't hide it, just share it. Yeah. If I'm married to you, I should be able to share anything with you. Yeah. Trevor had like when we first got married Trevor was it was really hard for Trevor to open up like the thing is we had really good communication before we were married but I feel like being married is a very different type of communication than just like being in a relationship you know what I mean mm -hmm. solid mm -hmm. I think three things I've learned in the three years that we've been married um, I've learned how to be more patient. I am very, I'm a very impatient person by very. nature. Nobody asked you. <laughs> um, I'm a very impa per impatient person by nature. Uh, but marriage has taught me to be patient. Um, yeah. man, that person is just gliding through here. Mm. Um, what else? When we first got married, we like had a, or he had a specific way of like when we would argue, he would like try to talk to me about it right away instead of giving me my space. So I think that we've done really well learning how to like, not learning how to argue because we don't argue a lot, but like learning how to deal with the other person when something's going on. Um, and. I think that we've learned a lot more about our love languages. Like being married for for a while, like you kind of learn like 
what the other person values like Trevor is a physical touch person and a quality time person so I I don't require physical touch at all like I could literally I think I could go our whole marriage without like being physically like if you haven't read the book or you don't know what that means it's not sexual no not like it's that like holding each other's like hand. even like holding hands or like if I scratch his head like things like yeah, that that's what it so means. I learned I've learned how to accommodate his like what makes him happy you know what I mean and I don't, most of the time I don't even have to think about it like I just pretty much do it but I think yeah. that also comes with marriage like you learn each other's like habits and things like that my love language is acts of service so like if he does the dishes or cleans the house if he I does I that I hate doing dishes <laughs> I hate it if I could never go with doing another household chore it would be doing the fucking dishes but he does it because he loves me. Yeah, I do. But I also, really we made do. a deal. We made a deal from the beginning. If one of us cooks, the other one does the dishes. Mm -hmm. Because we're Even very... when I cook, I still like to do it for him. Yeah. We're very much so... Like, we like being a team. So, like, most people in older marriages are very much so, like... Or, or in more traditional marriages are like, Well, the woman has to do everything. The woman ha It's the woman's job to clean. It's the woman's job to do this. And... In our marriage, we're not like that. If I'm relaxing at the end of the day, so should she. Yeah. Not she's cleaning the house and doing all this other stuff when I can. Unless I genuinely feel like it. Like sometimes I'll he'll uh, he'll see me cleaning and he'll feel bad and he's like, oh, let me help you. And I'm like, no, you know what? Like I genuinely want to like. Sometimes I clean to relax. Very rarely, but it, sometimes it I'll be your in mind the. Down. The what? It winds your mind down. Yeah, it kind of like just gives me something to do. So sometimes I will clean the house just to like get my mind off of things but we have definitely learned how to like he knows how to cater to what's gonna probably like be like per in my mind it perceives like okay he's making an effort you know what I mean stuff like that but we've like I said we've been married a little while like I said Trevor's is physical touch so I started scratching his head out you guys can't see but my hands back here scratching his head and I wasn't even thinking about the act of me scratching his head or like thinking about the fact that, like oh I need to scratch his head or I need to hold his hand or I need to do this because like I said I'm not a very like I don't require physical touch or anything like that like I don't need him to hold my hand to make me feel loved but everybody's different and I feel like when you love somebody, you want to do the things that you know will make them feel appreciated. So it's little stuff like that. But I feel like we've done pretty good in the last couple of years learning learning each other's ins and outs. Not not physically, but Okay, I'm gonna just stop for saying that. Yeah. <laughs> for you all with the dirty mind. Yeah. But no, we're just sitting here. Trevor's eating his food. We're at the NEX. We're going to go inside. I might bring you guys out a couple times, but probably not a lot because we are going to be wearing our masks and um, uh, all of that stuff. But I do want to try to find that magic uh, shaving powder that I was talking about. And I also want to look around at the cameras, uh, you know, just to look, take a little look-see. But me and Trevor just kind of relax. Oh, we also, I forgot to tell you guys, we are probably not going to be going on the other side of the island because from what we saw, it looks like it's raining over there. Yeah. And I don't want to head over there because uh, it is like about an hour drive. I don't want to head over there if it's just going to be raining. Having a mukbang. Having a mukbang. Mm -hmm. A mukbang of sorts. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Trevor was hungry. We were both hungry, to be honest. And we woke up at like... Ah, uh, not we. When did you wake up? Before you. I got 11. I let Just myself sleep in, in today. Hours. Yeah. Trevor woke up at 1.30. He stayed up till what time? Like 4. Playing video games. Which yeah. I don't have a problem with because... Like... I was gonna go to bed sooner. I always tell Trevor, I was like, as long as you wake up when I ask you to wake up the next day, I don't care what time you stay up till. As long as, like, we get something done the next day if I want to go out, I don't care. But yeah, guys, we're just chilling. I hope you guys are having a good day. Also, 
I used the Carol's Daughter in my hair and I, I low key feel like my hair looks and feels a little bit like it doesn't feel crunchy. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it, right? I feel like it looks a little smoother, mm -hmm. but I don't know. We'll have to see how I like it. I still have to try it out a couple more times. Um, but I do want to try the shampoo and conditioner because I've heard so many good things. Yeah, I know. This person doesn't know how to drive. And then they drove off all aggressively. Um, yeah, we we uh, saw the... I got some of the Carol's Daughter for my hair. So, and I heard that the shampoo and conditioner is good. Thank you again, Pamela, for the recommendation and just being amazing. Uh, but yeah, I put it in my hair today and it, my hair feels actually very moisturized. Feel this little piece of hair right here. Hmm. It feels very moisturized today. So I don't know. I'll tell you, I'll keep you updated on if I like it and stuff. But like I said, me and Trevor are just going to hang out in the car for a little while until we go inside. Guys, we just got out. Hold on. Ah, thank you, lovey. We just got out of the NEX. We didn't find the magic stuff. Well, we found it, but it was in a squeezy tube. So I'm going to wait. We're probably going to take a trip to uh, Walgreens or to CVS, which is kind of, it's called Long's Drug here. So we're going to take a trip to Long's. But while I was in there, um, we saw that they had clearance on like some clothes downstairs and Trevor was like babe go take a look they might have something cute because the clearance was like 60% right and I saw these sweaters they're literally the same type of sweaters but I saw these sweaters and they're really soft this color and then this like like mustardy orange color and they were for $11 and I was like oh okay babe that's really cute and he's like babe just get them and I was like okay well, which color should I get he's like go ahead and get both because they're both cute you know you'll wear them da 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 right well we go up to the counter and the guy behind the counter says what percentage was it off and I was like oh 60 because it was 60% off and he types it in I got both of these for ten dollars five dollars and five dollars guys I'm shooketh I'm shooketh right Trevor we were shook so but they're so soft guys I wish you could feel them um and I'm really happy so we're gonna head towards back going home I looked at the other stuff Trevor was like oh babe since it's so cheap you should look at more stuff but I didn't I didn't want to look at more stuff because we have a store that we go to in Texas anyways that is highly discounted so I told Trevor sorry I told Trevor, I was like, no, it's fine because I'm still going to go shopping when I go back to Texas uh, and get lots of cute clothes that's kind of like this that is heavily discounted. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to share my little, my little adventure, my shopping adventure with you guys. But now we're about to head home. It is 5 o'clock. Um, and like I said, we're probably going to stop at either Long's or Walgreens to look for the... Sorry, baby. Yeah, you're good. I was looking at that. Oh. Um, we're probably going to stop at Long's or Walgreens to see if we can try to find the magic stuff. Uh, but I just wanted to update you and share my excitement about a sweater. Guys, so we went inside Long's Drugs, which is like the CVS for Hawaii. Yeah. And we found it. So we're going to be trying this. I pro I'll try it on my legs because I haven't shaved my legs yet. Do it on my nether regions. Yeah, Trevor's going to do it on his nethers and tell me if it works. Um, but I will input the TikTok video so you guys can watch it. So I decided to go for this thing I saw on TikTok. And this was $1.87 at Walmart. I found it at my local Walmart, so you can probably find it at Walmart, CBS, somewhere like that. So basically, I learned that the less water you use, the better for this mixture, because it ended up really watery the first time, and I ended up wasting a lot of powder. But basically, I had seen this thing about how it was better than Nair or other hair-removing creams, and you get no razor bumps, and you don't have to worry about getting cut or shaving. So as you can see, I had let my hair grown out quite a bit and then this was the process of me putting it on my legs i waited till it was dry before i took it off and it took about five to seven minutes for my legs to get super smooth and i also used this coffee scrub after also i need to put my seatbelt on and while we were in there uh hold on sorry i love you 
Okay, and while we were in there, Trevor also fell in love with this Dr. Pepper, I think it's called Cream Soda. Um, so he got that and we got one for each of us. And now we are headed to O'Reilly's and AutoZone uh, because Trevor needs a part. The saga for the truck will never end. But um, yeah, so we're gonna head there and I will update you guys on if the magic stuff works because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be trying it as soon as I get home. Guys, so I went ahead and I tried that like magic stuff on. It worked. I did it on my underarms and on my legs. Uh, you do want to make sure that you put like a good amount on. You don't want like a thin layer or anything like that. But uh, me and Trevor were like, okay, well, let's watch something on Netflix. Um, our anniversary is tomorrow and they just came out Happy Madison, which I, if I'm not mistaken, Adam Sandler owns Happy Madison Productions and they came out with a movie called The Wrong Missy and literally this movie was filmed here and I remember it, it was last year around this time because I was working, uh, like I, you guys know I used to do Instacart, if you didn't know, now you know, but I used to do Instacart and they filmed it here because I saw them, like I saw the production company, ooh, there's Trevor, I saw the production company and everything here and it's just so weird that it already came out. So we're gonna watch it and all of that stuff, we're excited. Good morning everybody, welcome to the second part of this vlog. Trevor's right there, he was waiting for me because I was doing my makeup. But today is our anniversary. Also, I'm wearing the sweater that I bought yesterday that you guys saw. I'll do a little, I don't know if you guys can see me, a little OOTD. The sweater, I have a pair of jeans on. These are my favorite jeans. You guys already know if you watch my channel quite a bit. Um, What else? Also, sorry for the mess over here. Trevor has a whole bunch of drinks. But... Uh, today's our anniversary <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup away out like I said I was doing my makeup right here with my ring light and we're going to head out welcome to my life Trevor's literally <laughs> helping me put my my shoes on um, I put these cute wedges on that I got from Walmart like a year ago don't sleep on Walmart guys they actually have some pretty cute shoes especially for summertime uh, but me and Trevor are going to take a photo so I, so I can post on Instagram for our anniversary. Uh, thank you, lovey. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to have a very casual day. I got dressed up literally for nothing. We're going to yeah, have a you super... You got dressed up for me. I'm not nothing. True. Hey. <laughs> we're having a super casual day. Love you. Love you too. Uh, we're going to have a super cash day. Uh, we're literally just going to hang out at the house. Guys, I have to tell you something, but this was totally my mess up. It wasn't the product's fault at all. Yesterday, I did the magic stuff. First of all, I did it I did it on my legs, and I'm not going to... <laughs> um, I did it on my legs, and I did it on my underarms, but I guess I, it was my fault because I was dumb. I didn't... <laughs> No, I'm serious. It was my fault because I was dumb. Um, I left like the residue of it on my underarms while I was doing my legs and I didn't do it like in ample time to like actually scrub off the excess. And I got like a little bit burned. It doesn't hurt as much as it did last night, thankfully. I put Neosporin on it and everything, but it's not the product's fault. It was literally my fault because I also did it on my legs and other sensitive areas. <laughs> and... Um, it was fine and I didn't have a burn so it's literally my fault but so that happened so we're gonna have a super casual day today we're gonna go grab some snacks uh, we're gonna have kind of a movie day at home if you guys know me in person you know I'm a very simple person like I I don't require like grand gesture type of things even though Trevor tries to give that to me a lot uh, <laughs> um, I don't require stuff like that and I'm a very chill person by nature, like I like being relaxed and stuff like that. So today we're gonna go grab food out. Uh, we're gonna grab a Cheesecake Factory to go. Trevor wants to go get snacks, so we're probably gonna go to the commissary and grab some snacks and kind of have a little like chill time here and a movie night. Um, but I did want to tell you guys that like I'm not one of those like people that has to be like well we have to go to the fanciest dinner ever like no I'm more of like a really 
relaxed person so I got really cute I put the sweater on guys the sweater is very comfy uh, like I said we're gonna take a photo uh, and yeah so that's what the plan is right now I just wanted to let you guys know also there's not a lot of things we can do right now other than go to the beach but we were already planning on going to the beach tomorrow and I don't want to like over go to the beach either so that's the plan. I will see you guys here in just a little while, and we're going to go take the photo outside. You're going to see how we set it up. I've done this before, but I'm going to set you up on the tree. How's that? That's better. You done, baby? Yep. You guys saw my feet, but we got a cute picture, so... No, I was going to say they saw my feet. Like, all they saw was my feet just then. Um, but we're all done taking the photo. It literally took, like, t I've been recording for three minutes. So it took, like, about three minutes just to get a good photo. Uh-oh. My little guy fell. But <sighs> Trevor's always awesome when we're taking photos. I just wanted a picture to post uh, as our anniversary picture. But we're now going to head out. The houses were here, so we're going to head in. And then we're going, oh, I'm back late. And then we're going to leave. Okay, guys. I was doing a little jig. Um, me and Trevor are at Cheesecake Factory picking up our food curbside. Um, so we're just hanging out. We're about to pick up our food. And then Trevor wants snacks, so we're going to go somewhere, grab some snacks for him. And then we're going to hang out at the house. I literally got dressed for nothing. But, you know, it feels good just to, like, get ready sometimes. You know? Guys, whenever I come here, I always get extra tortilla strips on the side. I get the spicy chipotle pasta and extra tortilla strips on the side because your girl likes a crunch. Hello. Well, let's get that out like a crunch. I'm married to white man. Yeah. You need I... <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm shook look at this they're making a canes right when we leave if you guys live here because I know hold on I know quite a couple of you guys watch my channel and you live here currently they're making a canes in Coppola so guys it gets lit as soon as we leave and they're bringing an olive guard ah! anyways so they're making a uh, raising canes here in Coppola. So if you guys are living here, or I know some some of you guys are moving here, um, you guys are gonna have another raising canes. I know that they have one by base. They're building that one in Mililani. It or Mililani. It should be um, up in the next month or so, I believe. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But I think that's so cool. Oh my gosh! So now we won't have to go all the way to downtown into town. To go get some canes. Yeah, it'll it'll take a minute. I mean, I'm thinking more excited for the Melani one. Yeah, because that one's so close to home. This one will be open as we leave. That one will probably be done in September, October time. Yeah, go baby. Depending on also construction. Yeah. But. But yeah. still, that's so exciting. That's so cool. Like Kabale. If you guys aren't from here, Kabale is poppin'. They have really cool, uh, I know that they build a lot of stuff over here and it makes me feel bad because like it kind of takes away from the beauty of Hawaii, but I think that it's really cool how they're kind of progressing a little bit. Um, and it brings a lot of jobs and like more places over here, so I think that's really cool. Guys, we're in the store, but me and Trevor were dancing. I'm gonna put you guys back away. Also, I am gonna sanitize you. Don't worry. All right, guys, so I got my pasta over there. 
Trevor got his snacks. <laughs> We're gonna relax and watch something and just hang out together and enjoy. What's up you guys? I just wanted to come on and go ahead and end the vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end the vlog here just because me and Trevor are gonna have a very relaxed day at home. As you can see, I changed back into comfy clothes. Um, but I hope you guys are having the most amazing day. If you're new, I hope you stick around. And if you're not, thank you guys for coming back and watching another one of my vlogs. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.